-hmm. On any given day, nearly 700 patients flow through the halls of Banner Boswell Medical Center, Banner Del E. Webb Medical Center, and Banner Sun Health Research Institute. Many come seeking a plan for a diagnosis they didn't expect, anticipating its impact on their daily lives. The more than 1,400 medical professionals who ease this discomfort within and outside hospital walls are often dubbed the healthcare heroes. Today, the medical community reciprocates this gratitude, thanking patients for their trust and the community for its investment. No one ever wakes up with a plan for the unexpected, the kind that can change your life. But when the unplanned becomes reality, you want the right team holding the roadmap. For Darl, that moment occurred long before he ever expected, the unexpected. And suddenly one day, I found myself at the Banner Boswell Memorial Hospital in the emergency room. Uh, they checked me out. Uh, there were definitely some issues that I had with my heart. And as I looked around the, the emergency room, I realized suddenly this is the first time that I'd ever actually been a patient in this hospital. All the times that I'd been in this place, all the times that I'd walked through these halls, I'd never actually been here as a patient. And receiving the kind of care that I'd been telling people they were gonna be getting all along, it reinforced everything that I know and I do here with the foundation and made me realize that the work that I'd put in, all these 10 years that I've been part of this foundation, were well worthwhile. Thankfully, Darl's cardiac diagnosis was positive and his running routine is back on track. Through a new program in partnership with Banner Boswell, Banner Del E. Webb, and Sun Healthcare Transitions, patients like Darl now have a program that helps them following their hospital stay. The Care Transitions program is a 30-day program that follows patients following their discharge from the hospital. And during that 30 days, a nurse will visit with a patient in their home, they'll review their medications, and help to educate them on their chronic disease. The word transition is critical. We're transitioning people from uh, hospitals or other facilities back to home most of the time. And so we're assisting them in educating them what to look for in signs and symptoms, to know when to call physicians and hopefully keep themselves out of the hospital. She explained what each of my medications does and how important each one is to keep taking. And she explained, well, for one thing, I didn't know that the AFib could return. She explained that yes, this can happen and that it could be a recurring problem. Specifically, one of the biggest indicators of success is around readmission rates. Now, nationally, Medicare patients readmit to the hospital within 30 days of their initial admission about 20% of the time. Within our program, that rate is about 4 to 5%. So it goes to show that a little bit of extra education around the chronic disease is having a lot of success in helping people to manage their chronic disease. That commitment enables Sun Health Foundation to support local health care on a variety of levels. This includes investments in cardiology, research, orthopedics, and neuroscience, four key pillars of clinical excellence. I see the, the emergency department as sort of the gateway to the uh, pillars of clinical excellence. You know, uh, we see patients coming with all types of diagnoses, um, whether you're coming in with your heart attack and you need to see the cardiologist, whether you're coming in with your stroke and you need to see the neurologist, come in with an orthopedic injury, uh, you're a patient at the Sun Health Research Center um, with Parkinson's. We are seeing, taking care of all those patients. When the founders of the Core Institute were searching for the right place to build a world-class orthopedic institute, there was really um, three things that we were looking for. One was a need for orthopedic care in the community. The second was very supportive hospital administration. And the third was our ability to create a world-class research facility. In conjunction with the Sun Health Foundation and the research facilities, it became very apparent very quickly that this was the perfect place to start. There is so much exciting stuff happening right now in orthopedics and healthcare in general. It's largely because of the Sun Health Foundation and the very generous donors that help support them that we've been able to actually achieve most of the goals that we, have, we set out to achieve. We have clearly changed this community. With the new concept of transformational giving, there's now an opportunity for us to change the world. The Institute is kind of the cornerstone of biomedical research in the Sun Cities. To accentuate that is Dr. Gabala's project, particularly when you look at the fact that Dr. Gabala is now able to take stem cells out of human beings, grow them in the lab, 
and put them back in as a new innovative treatment for heart failure. I'd like to say to donors that there is a true connection between what they're able to give and what they're able to see as a result. Here, a donor gets to see the return on their investment. We're all about biomedical research, we're about age-related research, we're about doing research that has direct impact in our community. And I think the thing that's most exciting, particularly with Dr. Gabala's project, is that we will see the end result of that investment and we'll see it in, uh, as, in Boswell Hospital potentially as early as next year. It is so exciting. In this community here, in this area, it has the best for all those settings. It has a facility like Banner with all its positions and you know the specialities available here. The Sun Health Foundation, which is helping with all the new innovations, new ideas, new research, and the patient population. It's, it's a dream come true for a practicing physician. As a diagnostic radiologist, it amazes me what we've been allowed to do because of the commitment of our communities and their philanthropy towards the hospitals. It has allowed us to stay in the forefront. It's allowed us to raise money for our PACS program, our voice recognition, our digital mammography, our MRI breast biopsy capability. None of this would exist without the commitment of our communities, not only to the hospitals, but to philanthropy as a whole. So I, from the bottom of my heart, I can only say thank you to our community, all the people that are involved in the foundation, the leadership. Without them, we would not be where we are today. And we're very fortunate to have a, a, a relationship with the Sun Health Foundation and it's a very unique one in that it combines nationally recognized hospitals with one of the oldest and most respected charitable organizations in the Northwest Valley. And our community is a great funder. They provide a lot of funds to us, but the, the nice part is we get to see donors and volunteers working in our hospitals every day. And we appreciate the fact that they get to see, feel, and even directly experience how their contributions have made a difference. This community had a vision of what they wanted it to be, um, and here we are 40 years later, it's a top 100 hospital, uh, and it was through their hard work and their resources and, and their giving, their spirit of giving, that really got us to where we are today. The list of people who have influenced my life is long and colorful. The donors are at the very top of that list, and it's an honor and privilege to know so many philanthropists. Two nationally recognized hospitals, a world-renowned research institute, and community-based health programs are here because of you.